Nintendo, Game Freak, and the Pokemon Company be out there trying to catch all of them uh, bug-type Pokemon. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Uh, kill me. So it's no secret at this point that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were met with poor reception at launch. While the evolution of the game design and the gameplay elements resonated with people, the story people seem to think this Pokemon entry has among the better ones and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the technical issues, the performance issues, the bugs, the glitches, some of the game-breaking aspects... All that stuff really got in the way of the experience. A damn shame considering the potential that Scarlet and Violet had when you look at the design elements and what they were aiming for with this game. Which is why if you go to Metacritic right now, you'll find a lower than usual score for a new Pokemon entry sitting at 72% from 116 critic reviews and the user score is at a mere 3.3. And if you want to learn all about the launch saga of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and the myriad issues that the game faced, uh, there are plenty of videos that I've posted about this. I highlight the myriad visual performance and technical issues that plague the game and uh, just kind of highlight uh, what that whole situation was like in the days following launch. Now things have quieted down on that front, things have improved here and there, but things certainly haven't been perfect, though there was a time for celebration on February 27th, 2023, when during Pokemon Day, Nintendo, Game Freak, and the Pokemon Company announced a bunch of upcoming stuff, chief among them being DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Despite the game's rough launch, it still went on to sell ridiculously well, so of course they want to capitalize on that, and hopefully the DLC, the expansion that they release, will be substantial and justify the price point. But the unfortunate thing is that there is one particular very severe and critical bug that makes it more recommendable for you to wait until this thing's sorted out before you risk losing your entire save. This was reported by New Salad Kotaku via an article that reads, A Pokemon Scarlet and Violet bug is deleting players' save files. More specifically, apparently connecting to the Pokemon Go app or downloading the DLC has caused them to lose their entire save files. We're talking about hundreds of hours worth of work to collect all the different Pokemon, all the different shinies to make all this progress that is just all gone. And uh, obviously it's a hassle to have to rebuild everything that you've uh, worked towards. The original source of all of this was this Reddit thread posted by Matthew C. Bayer, whose headline reads, Save Files Being Lost, and in the body of this thread, you'll find the exact details. We are now up to at least five people on this subreddit in comments on other posts that have lost their save data after pairing with Pokemon Go to send a postcard. I posted about it yesterday in detail, and my post was removed. Not sure why. Obviously, this is a small number of players overall, but people need to be aware there is some level of risk. I lost a 595 hour save file because of this, and so far, nothing can be done to recover my save. While this issue may not necessarily be universal, it is prominent enough that there is a fraction of a chance that it may happen to you if certain conditions are met, and do you really want to risk being among the fraction of people who will be affected by this and potentially lose hundreds of hours worth of time and effort and work that you put into this game to spruce up your collection to your liking, to get all of the rare Pokemon to your liking, to build your team to your liking, all that stuff which takes an incredible amount of grind. Over time, the number of people impacted by this in the subreddit alone grew. It reads right here, we're now around a dozen people this has happened to between the comments here and on another post. Not all have linked to go. Some experienced it just after downloading DLC. So it may be more of a patch issue than connected to go. That's another thing. People can't determine the exact source of this issue. What exact conditions will allow you to replicate this save corruption bug so that you're able to circumvent that and prevent it, people are still not sure exactly what's causing this, which makes it a lot more difficult to download the DLC and apply the recent updates in a safe manner, in a way where you're assured that you won't lose hundreds of hours of progress. And so plenty of players who have gotten wind of this are now scared to connect to Pokemon Go, to download the DLC, to really do anything related to recent updates and content releases, 
because they might be in that fraction of the player base that's impacted by this safe corrupting bug. And sure, a fraction is a fraction, but guess what? We're talking about millions and millions of players, and a fraction of that is still thousands upon thousands of people who might end up losing dozens to hundreds of hours worth of playtime. This Reddit user then edited the post and provided updates about the situation. Edit number two, recovering the backup save by holding up plus B plus X does not work in this case because the game doesn't even load to the home screen. Thank you everyone for making suggestions to get the save back, but that particular thing is not an option here. Some people propose some potential solutions that do not seem to be panning out. And then finally, edit number three, if you're here to report that this has happened to you, please answer a few questions. If you previously commented that this has happened to you, please comment with your answers as well. And there are a number of questions here because people want to determine exactly what's causing this to see if there are ways to circumvent this while Nintendo works on this on their end so that more people aren't impacted by this. Hopefully, they'll release a hotfix for this sooner rather than later because plenty of people won't know about this issue and plenty of people will wake up to find their entire Pokemon collection, all of the training that they've done for the Pokemon, all of their rare acquisitions gone. In the comment section here, you'll find plenty of people either reporting that they experienced something similar or breathing a sigh of relief that they haven't downloaded the DLC yet or connected to Pokemon Go. Makes me glad I was lazy and didn't do it. And then right here, this has also happened to me over a hundred shinies down the drain. It is not easy to get a hundred shinies in your collection. That is dozens, hundreds of hours of grinding. All of that is poof, gone with seemingly no recovery method whatsoever, which is why people are asking for Nintendo to implement some kind of backup feature for these games, some kind of cloud save feature or something along those lines. I'd be heartbroken if I ever lost my reboot, my first Pokemon. One of the big draws of Pokemon is the attachment that you form with either a specific Pokemon that you caught or just your entire collection or a specific team that you built. And uh, to lose that can be genuinely heartbreaking. Plenty of people complain that it's ridiculous that in the year 2023, they don't have a cloud backup feature of any kind, which is a pretty basic feature in this day and age. Now, I think there are some complications there involving potential ways cloud safes could be exploited to cheat or whatever. But look, at the end of the day, I have little doubt that there are ways to implement safety measures in place to mitigate potential cheating that can happen through this feature. And ultimately, the benefits granted by cloud safes for the vast majority who are playing legitimately far outweighs the potential drawbacks that could come from its implementation. Somebody else here reported on what a hot topic this whole situation is in japan in japan there are reports that the error occurs even when the dlc has not been purchased and the user is not connected to pokemon go which might be indication that it has more to do with patch version 1.2.0 uh, the phenomenon occurs in version 1.2.0 and is the same for both the downloadable and cartridge versions. It has been reported for both light and OLED bodies of the Nintendo Switch. And apparently in Japan, because this is not happening to everyone and it's hard to reproduce this glitch, this bug, the low reproducibility has led some users to assume that the error is fake news, when in fact it's very much real. Again, it will not impact everyone per se, but certainly enough people that this is making headlines. And then scrolling further are down more people reporting that this has happened to them as well happened to me too but my save data corruption appeared right after i purchased the dlc had to delete the file and say goodbye to over 90 shiny pokemon and a living dex and if it hasn't happened to them there will be people who know people to whom this has happened to i know someone who had this happen as well there has to be some sort of bug with the postcards even if it is rare again the fact that the source of this issue is so hard to determine makes this all the more of a less than ideal circumstance. A similar thing happened to me, but mine I think was from downloading the DLC since I couldn't even get my game to connect to Pokemon Go, but I haven't wiped the save yet in hopes it can be fixed. But while the save is corrupted, this user can't play the game and they're keeping their fingers crossed that Nintendo will come up with a solution that will allow the corruption of that save data to be reversed. Uh, even if it means waiting until they can dive back into the game. Some people opted to just delete the save data and like start a new game, essentially. And yeah, they'll have to go through the grind all over again because this game is so shoddily built when it comes to its technical elements. Again, one of the better designed Pokemon games. People are really loving where uh, Scarlet and Violet took Pokemon when it comes to certain modernizations and evolutions of game design and gameplay. But the technical issues, both at launch and the ones that we're seeing now, I mean, like, 
it's just not acceptable. But yeah, you get the idea. Plenty of people saying it happened to me and answered all of the questions so that hopefully it can come closer to determining exactly what's causing this save file corruption, save file deletion, progress losing error. Another user here, this happened to me a few days ago, answered all of these questions, but it's like there are different conditions for different people under which they encountered this bug, but the common thread seems to be that those who patch the game with version 1.2.0 are experiencing this. I think, again, hard to say for sure, which is a significant contributor to the frustration surrounding this. So time will tell how all of this will pan out. Uh, this is yet another unfortunate development in what has been a tumultuous saga for the launch of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which had it been technically sound, would have been received to, I think, a standing ovation to tremendous applause because the gameplay exoskeleton they really nailed. Plenty of people will agree that it's actually a really fun game to play. The freshest Pokemon has felt in a while. The story was more engaging than your usual Pokemon fare. There's a lot to like about this game, but when all the different cogs are not turning properly and it's causing the machine to break down, you know, it does mar the experience, unfortunately. And so hopefully uh, this will be rectified down the line. But yeah, putting this out there as a PSA of sorts, I suppose, for those who are still playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it may not happen to you, but be aware that even if the chance is low, there is a chance it might happen to you. So, you know, maybe be patient before either connecting to Pokemon Go, downloading the DLC, downloading patch 1.2, or booting the game up after you've uh, applied patch 1.2.0. Just like stand by until Nintendo's able to confirm whether they were able to fix this issue and uh, whether people on the internet are able to confirm that this problem has been fixed. But yeah, there you have it, folks. That's everything you need to know about the current situation surrounding Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on all of this and whether you've experienced something like this after having connected to Pokemon Go, after having downloaded the latest patch or the latest DLC, whatnot, uh, whether you're among those who might have encountered this so, yeah, comment away below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.